Welcome to Thursday's edition of Renew. I'm Pastor Tony Cowan. Let's get right to the point. We're going to go back to some scripture we read yesterday, take it a little bit further today. There's just so much in this right here that it's hard to get through in a five-minute slot here and there, but it's found in the Gospel of Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and following. This is, of course, scripture that Jesus was reading in the synagogue one day referring to himself out of Isaiah. And it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. And then in verse 19, it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Yesterday, we established that the acceptable year of the Lord was that year of Jubilee. And the year of Jubilee is not an event to look forward to anymore. It is a person, Jesus, fulfilled that type and shadow under the Mosaic law. But then in verse 20 and 21, it goes on to say, And he closed the book and gave it to, back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, now notice this, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. The, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. I just want to focus on that one word right there, today, because Jesus probably disrupted a lot of uh, theology and religious mindsets and everything else when he said that one word right there. Because people can always get excited about talking about the good old days, you know, how it used to be, and they're always wanting to go back to the way it used to be. I don't know when the good old days were. They're not any good old days <laughs> that I'm, I know of. But a lot of people want to talk about the way God used to move. You know, back in Moses' day when he split the Red Sea and brought water out of a rock. And we could talk about in our modern day how God moved in such and such a time in the tent revivals and in these meetings and those meetings and all those other things. And we get excited about talking about yesterday. But what about today? Well, I want you to notice that he said this in reference to the year of Jubilee. See, they had to actually look forward to a year of Jubilee. Either that or look back and they said, well, that passed a few years ago, or we got to look forward to that in, in a few years, but we can't have that until that, that year comes. But Jesus said, you don't have to wait for a year, and you don't have to look back to yesterday, yesteryear. Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Jesus came to fulfill all the types and shadows of the law. The day of atonement, the year of jubilee, all the festivals, the feast, all those other things. Jesus became the perfect fulfillment of all of them. We do not have to wait for another year. We don't have to talk about how things used to be in the past. We don't have to wait for another year in the sweet by and by. Jesus said, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. And see, that's what I want to get across to you today, that you do not have to wait another day. You know, the Bible says to, that today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow, not yesterday, not yesteryear, not sometime other, you know, in the sweet by and by, Jesus said it's today. You know, when these, when these realities of what Jesus d has already done for us and provided for us get down the inside, then eventually... It's going to come up in you like a roar of a lion. You're going to say, wait a minute, I do not have to wait another day. I'm going to declare my new beginning right now. I'm going to declare my healing, my deliverance, and my turnaround, my breakthrough today. I don't have to wait. I, I can declare that today is my day of independence in Jesus because He's already bought and paid for it. He's already fulfilled it. It's a finished work. We don't have to wait anymore. You know, it takes that person of faith to get up and say, today is it. I'm not waiting another day. Today is my day of salvation. Today is my day of receiving, my day of healing, my day of deliverance, my day of freedom. Today is it. That's what Jesus is saying right there. We do not have to wait for another day to come. We don't have to look back at a year it used to be, you know, the way it used to be in the past. We can say today is my day of salvation. In fact, every day I'll be getting better in Jesus because we're seeing more of Him. We're finding out more of Him. We're seeing more of the freedom that we have in Christ. So every day can be just a new day of freedom, a new beginning for you, just a, a new day uh, that the Lord has made and you can rejoice and be glad in it. Man, that's awesome right there. You know, just to get up by faith and declare that Jesus is my jubilee. He is my deliverer, my savior. He is my healer, my great physician, my provider, 
my, the Lord of my breakthrough, I do not have to wait any longer. I'm going to take it today and go in and possess my promised land that God's laid out for me. Man, that's awesome. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Join us again tomorrow. If you'd like additional resources, go to TonyCowan.org, T-O-N-Y-C-O-W-A-N.org, and we'll see you tomorrow.